welcome back to my channel today we're doing a new makeup video with these two new palettes that I have right here the first palette that I have here is the Jaclyn Hill palette the Morphe palette and this is the one I was most excited about getting because everyone had been talking about it a lot everyone had been talking about this palette and um, the palette was actually really affordable. I will leave links below and prices for everything that I show in this video. But the palette was actually very reasonably priced to be have Jaclyn Hill name attached to it. But it was Morphe. And um, I received the palette and has a plastic slip over it. The only thing about it is, um, and I don't think it's anything about the palette. It was just the fact that um, um, this was... This came in my mailbox. I hate when UPS, I mean not UPS, the post office, USPS, they put my packages in the mailbox with, instead of bringing them to my house. And I really have to figure out how to change that option. But basically what happened is it was probably stuffed in my mailbox or tossed in there. And it really should have like fragile or something on the package. But anywho, um, this is the palette. And I'm going to try to show the whole palette. But as you can see right, right here. This color here did come like broken. So I'm showing the whole palette as best as I can um, because I don't want it to fall out. Now I know there is a way that you can correct, um, well not correct, but basically fix your shadow and I'm gonna attempt to do that. But um, yes, it's a beautiful palette. It just says this palette is dedicated to all my loving subscribers, XO Jacqueline. And um, what I will do first is I will go through and do a swatches, swatches of a couple. This palette has, let's see, four, five, six, seven times three, four, five. So this palette has 35 colors in it. It's 35 colors in it. So I'm not going to swatch each color, but I will swatch a good amount of the colors in it. And um, after that, I will go to my next palette and swatch those as well. Another thing about this palette, it does not come with colors like names on them. It doesn't come with names on the palette. So you kind of just have to, I'm just going to point or do something when I edit. I'm just going to point at each color and you'll see. But um, I'm going to go for the all the ones that have like a little glitter or something in it. Because I think those are the ones you kind of want to see. So taking this color here. Now I don't have the best ca camera lighting, so let me do another swipe of it. And after I do this, I take a picture with flash so you can see the color better. Now I'm taking that golden color under it. And the palette is very pigmented. Um, it's not the most pigmented palette I've. I've worked with like I feel like Juvia's I'm biased a little bit to Juvia's but I feel like they have some of the best pigmented shadows for women of color um, like that's why you cannot be fooled or maybe I shouldn't say fooled but you know fooled by certain color palettes palettes just because you look at it like all those colors are so vibrant but you have to do a swatch of them on your on your own color you have to because what works for some will not work for everyone oh now that's really pretty and what I'm doing is basically Some of the other color fail. I really wish I should have put some tape. You know what? I'm going to put tape over that one. It's the tape I have over here. Now this is a little rigged up. So don't y'all don't y'all judge me. But I don't want that color to leave. You know, it just looks like it's a black. And I don't really use black shadows. But. You know. I like to, I want to have the option of maybe using it. Using it. 
literally I just decided when I got home from work today just to start filming. I'm so unprepared. I hurry, hurried up and touched my makeup up some. I had this on for work today. So, yeah, y'all. Bear with me here. <laughs> Goodness. Okay. This is better, right? Okay. It's a little... <laughs> It's a little janky, but don't y'all judge me. Okay. This is the color that broke. Okay. So, what I've swatched so far is this color, this color here, this color, and this color right here. I hate they don't have names, but um, I want to go down here into this blue color there because it looks pretty. So. You find a new finger. Y'all, I got some of that black eyeshadow all over my arm. Help me here. Um, ooh, now that's really pretty. I want to use this color here. Y'all know I, I'm partial to gold. I love me a good gold, a nice gold. And just because I'm going into each um, eyeshadow pot on the palette doesn't mean that it's not pigmented. It's just um. Sometimes you have to do more than one swipe to get the color shown. I want to do this purple and then this royal blue color. They look really similar. I want to see the difference between them. Though. So. That's the royal blue color. It's kind of purplish. And I'm going to go for the purple color okay now I can see the difference between them so these are the color payoffs of each one that I swatched and these are just the the glitter tones in the palette the ones that have some speck or shall I say the shimmer re eyeshadows in this palette More glittery and stuff because I feel like the neutral tones which is what I'm going to do my eyeshadow look with today you'll be able to see the color payoff of the, them when I start doing my eyeshadow um, I just want to do these because they just look like fun colors and yeah they're really pretty okay next um, what I want to do is I want to go into the next palette and that is the Too Faced Sweet Too Faced Sweet Peach palette and I have been wanting this palette for so long. Um, they actually just brought out a new one. Um, I think it's called Peach 2 or something about, it's something about peaches. But um, yeah, I just love it because if you have noticed, I love peachy, orangish, gold eyeshadow looks. I just feel like it looks the best with my skin tone. So, and I have eyeshadow all over my hands here. <laughs> but um. This is how the palette looks. It's a Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. And it's like a, a metal tin. And these are the colors. And obviously I'm not swatching all of these. Um, I was thinking about doing a swatch video until I realized these palettes have a whole lot of colors. Like I don't think I have enough body room <laughs> on myself to do it. So I'm going to start... Let me take my bracelet off here. And I'm going to start with this arm here and do um, some swatches. Now this palette does come with names on it. So therefore, <laughs> you'll be able to know the name of anything that I'm swatching. Okay, I want to go for the glitter tones again. I'm going to go for bless her heart in the palette 
and it's this olive green color right there so let's wash that and we're gonna do here okay off top the morphe palette was more pigmented um like i said i don't have the, the best lighting in here the lighting that i ordered it came with a part missing then i had to return it back to amazon and they were out of the one that i wanted for the price so i'm still in the market for cheap affordable lighting so that's why my lighting is still pretty dull but if you mess with me you'll watch my video if i have good lighting or not so good lighting so that's how I feel, but I do want to invest in some good lighting. I think overall my videos will just be better. They will, you know, probably get more views and different things. So, but anywho, then I want to go into tempting here and swatch that one. Okay, that's that's prettier. That has more pigment in it. picks up better um i'm gonna go into luscious Ooh, now this is pretty i may use this on my eyes today uh, you can't really see it crap you can see that luscious color yeah that's really pretty i like that color i am having to do a good amount of swipes to get to build this up but i mean I still think it'll do nice on my eyes. And I like this mirror in this palette. I love palettes that come with a mirror. That's always the plus. Um, I don't want this video to be too long. So let's go into Nectar. Let's do that right underneath. That fourth color. Um, we're going to go into Bellini. I guess kind of like peach bellini. That's how that looks. It's really bright and pretty. That actually could be like a highlighter color on me. And the fallout, it doesn't have fallout. Either one of the palettes doesn't really have any fallout, which is a good thing. We're going to go with peach pit. This is the last color I'm going to do. So I really want to get into the eyeshadow. I'm excited to put these on my eyes. So... And that's the color right here at the bottom, this peach pit color. I guess I'm going to take a picture of these so you can see better. Okay, now what I'm going to get into is doing an actual eyeshadow look. So, um, first I'm going to start with the Sweet Peach palette. And... It does smell like peaches. It smells really good. Like, it's like the more you, I guess because I was swatching in it. I mean, not, yeah, doing swatches with it. It just smells better now. Like, first it had like a faint pink peach smell. But now I can really, it's really more aromatic now. Let me grab my brushes. And basically what I've done so far with my eyes, I just, um, I've done my foundation already. If I didn't state that at the beginning of the video, my foundation is already done. So, this is not a full makeup video. This is just an eyeshadow look video. Have you seen my eyebrow tutorial? Which, if you have not, go watch it. But, um, <laughs> yeah, basically, what I did for my eye, you know, eyeshadow, little base, and different things, I concealed underneath my eyebrow with my normal Pro Conceal here. And right just on my lids, I use my NYX eyeshadow, my NYX eyeshadow base. And, excuse me, and I put that all over my lid with this flat brush. It's just a brush from Ulta. It's just really flat here. And that basically gets it like, in. well first after I put um, the, the NYX base, I kind of, rubbed it in a little bit with my hand my, with my one of my fingers and then I used the flat brush and after that all I did was 
set my my lid with the Sasha Buttercup. And I did that with this side of my Real Techniques brush. The flat side of my Real Techniques brush. And that's how I got my eyeshadow base in brands. So, what I want to do is, since this sweet peach palette, I don't know if I mentioned it, it came with this little drop down instruction um, glamour guide. And it has three looks here on the back. And the look that I want to do is just the, the peaches and cream look. And that's what it is. So I'm going to follow the steps that they say. And that's how I'm going to apply it. So. And I'm just using my regular brushes here from Ulta and Sephora. These are some of their brushes. I'm supposed to apply peaches and cream like underneath my brow. And peaches and cream is this color right here. So I'm going to do that. I don't normally do that after I conceal underneath my eyebrow. I don't really apply anything under it. But since they told me to, I will. And I'm going to use just the mirror in this palette. So And right off the top, it doesn't have much of a color um obviously it's kind of my skin tone color which I, I like that i like that it it blends into my skin tone Okay, then it says to press caramelize onto the lid. Okay, I don't want to do that. I don't go, I like to do my crease next. So, blend Georgia into the crease. Where's Georgia at? Oh, Georgia is the color right here next to it. This one right here. Okay, for my crease, I want to use... Look what brush do I have for my crease. So I just used this brush from, um, because I don't have my crease brush up here, which I don't understand why I don't, but neither here nor there. I'm for my crease color, I'm just gonna use this um wet and wet eye brush. Put that into my crease. Um, okay. You know what? Y'all, I just messed up. <laughs> Not messed up, but I was supposed to just be doing this eyeshadow look on one eye. So I'm going to start keep on my my right eye. Um, This one, we'll come back to that one. But um, Because I'm doing two eyeshadow looks. I'm so used to doing just one plain eyeshadow look that it did not hit me. Oh well. Trial and error, y'all. As you clearly can see. This is a trial and error type of thing. Okay, I have it in my crease pretty good, blended pretty good. Um, we can come back and build it up if need be. Um, okay, after that, now I'm going to go to my lid with Caramelize. And Caramelize is this color. This is a pretty color. That's Caramelize right, right there. Oh, that's really pretty on. Um, that's real pretty on. Um, really pretty. And I just like to pat it down on my lid. I'm gonna put this build this up because this is like a this is a pretty gold color. Okay, it's too face, sweet peach. I like this. I like this a lot. This might be my new gold for all my eyeshadow looks. Since my best friend was like, you love that other color. I'm like, yes, I sure do. But um, <laughs> you you all know I love my, my simple everyday makeup look. I don't really go for daring colors. I am going to test myself to go for more bold colors. Um, 
as I start doing more makeup videos. And I'm just going to go back into um, Georgia and build up my crease a little bit. Put luscious in the inner corner. What is luscious? Is what is luscious? Oh, luscious is this color right here, right, right here. So in a corner. Okay. So right in here, I guess. And you know I'm gonna be a little extra. I'm not gonna follow directions. I'm gonna bring luscious in a little bit into my lid color. like this look and it's just a really it's a really simple look put a little bit more caramelized on my lid and where is my other brush it peaches and cream I just build that up a little bit underneath. And y'all, we in the game. We got us a little look here. This is pretty. Like, it's prettier to me than probably to y'all. Because y'all can't really see it. That's why I need better lighting. Okay, y'all, so now I'm going to start on my other eye, and I'm going to do a similar um, kind of neutral tone look with the Morphe palette. I'm going to start out with just one of these basic nude colors at the top. I want to take this color right here, so just use some of that, and look, I'm trying to find a mirror. <laughs> I'm going to do a glitter color in my crease, so I'm going to do that color right there. Yeah, I'm going to use the same, same brush here. I think this is a better brush. For my lid color, I want to do a little glittery color. So I'm going to go with this color right there. Popping in my inner corner and midway on my lid. Shadow looks. I'm just gonna do what I normally do to finish off them. Going with my glow kit here, and I like to use the color Sunburst and Bubbly. I use Sunburst right underneath my brow bone, so I just take a little bit up because it can be a little bit too bright, and we don't want it to be too bright. 
It's like a little bit. Put that underneath. Use this brush to take a little bit of the bubbly color. Yeah. Line it like that. Liner by Nika K. It's, it just says NK on it and it's retractable. It lets up like that. It's on the beauty supply store, um, probably like a dollar, two dollars. I don't know the price. I have my garage cart Gerard Cosmetics um, lipstick. I think it's Gerard Garage, but it's in the color Underground. And this is just how it looks. It's like a pretty taupey nude color and on top of all of that I use my NYX butter gloss which I hardly ever use a, a gloss but I did today and it's in the color Madeline but it will dry and I insert some pictures at the end of this video as always remember to like comment subscribe um what else share Make sure you share my videos. Thank you for watching.